iOS 15 has just been released and one of the best new features it brings to iPhone and iPad is live text in the camera app. This means with your camera app open, you can hover your iPhone's camera over some text and interact with it to copy paste text, call a phone number, visit a website or send someone an email using live text among other things. You can also look at any photo on your camera roll and interact with any text inside the photo with live text mode. Let's show you how to use it. After you've updated to iOS 15, you can open the camera app and see the new feature. So to get it working, find a subject that has some text on it. Let's use this pamphlet here for Pericuda Vines Retreat a friend of mine runs. You need to hold the iPhone or iPad steadily in position over the text. You will see two things appear. First, a bracket box around some text to let you know which text it is targeting, but don't tap there. Rather, tap the live text icon that appears in the bottom right here. And when you do so, the iPhone takes a snapshot of it and from here you can interact with the text. In this case, copy, select all, look up, i.e. a web search, translate text or share. That's great, but it gets more interesting when we flip the pamphlet over. As you can see, there's a lot of contact details on the back here. Now, when I hover the camera over the top, it tries to pick up all of the major text and it's done a great job. This batch of text is super interactive. First of all, with iPhone's iOS 15 live text, I can tap the website and it will take me straight to their webpage. Or if I wanna send them an email, I can tap the email address in the live text here and it will send me to the email application, which I currently don't use, but let's just move on here. Then I can tap their number to give them a quick call, text, or even add them to my contact list. No need to type in the phone number anymore. And by tapping the live text address, it will put the directions in the Maps application. For anything not linked, for example, the Instagram page, I can just copy and paste this into Instagram. Another thing you can do here inside Instagram is tap the search field first, then tap the live text icon and I'll hover directly over the Instagram handle of my mate's printing business and it will do a search for you. There they are. I think the translation aspect will come in very handy for many people as well. They already have apps to do this, but now it's built into the iPhone camera app itself. Right, I've got a Spanish comic book here and you can see when I hover over the back cover, First of all, it captures all of the text. Then when I tap translate, it will go through and do some translating via Apple and then immediately converts it to English or reasonably good English. In my opinion, Google Translate is a good alternative to this if you wanna do some serious live translation. iOS 15 live text also works with photos already on your iPhone camera roll. So for example, here is a photo of a bottomless brunch promotion that I saw when walking past my local Mexican restaurant. The live text icon appears in the bottom right indicating that you can interact with the text in that photo. So after I tap iOS 15's live text icon here, again, I can copy and paste look up or translate any of this text. What's really amazing here is I can zoom right in here and pick up the small website written in small text there and I can go straight to that. So this is a really great feature to experiment with. I have found though that it can be hard in live photo mode to isolate the exact text that you want. Sometimes there may be several sections of text in view on the camera app, but it won't highlight in brackets the text that you actually specifically want. As you can see with my business card here, I wanna to go to my website, but it's only actually highlighting the logo part of the business card. And unfortunately, I can't tap the website to tell the camera to pay attention to that particular section of text. Sometimes you can resolve this by centering the camera over the text you wanna interact with, but then it sometimes loses focus. Or maybe you can zoom in on it, that sometimes works. But a quick way to get around this is to just take a photo of the whole text, then open up the photo, tap the live text icon, and then choose the particular text you wanna interact with. Watch this video next to learn about iPhone 13's amazing new cinematic video mode, which is portrait video mode on iPhone brought to video. It allows you to perfectly blur the background in video mode to give you some great new options with creativity. You're gonna love it and I'll see you there.